I was really pleased when the painter Peter Brown, also president of the New English Art Club and fondly known as Pete the Street, agreed to do an interview with me at his exhibition at the Victoria Gallery in Bath. Uh, yes, when you were at your exhibition, perhaps you'd, you'd like to tell us how you set it up, what was the sort of criteria? What, for the paintings? Yes. Yeah, probably were. It's funny, it's like the same with everything, I just bumble on and do it. And I don't, if I have a plan, in this, I never have a plan for what the show's doing about. It's kind of main, the main body of work is, is Bath, obviously. And then the rest of, of travels, New York and um, Umbria and uh, uh, yeah, a bit of France and, and so on. Um, and some interiors as well. And it's just really me just painting every year, over a couple of years. I'm just sort of doing kind of whatever tickles me, really. I've followed you quite a lot and I what I love most is the light right. and how you catch that. Is that what you're thinking about when you Yeah, I mean it's it's all it's all a, it's a show on bath or, or whatever, it's it's all about light, it's all about weather. Mm. It is all about the light and that 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 um, that controls everything you do and how you do it. So the, the nature of sun moving means you have to work very quickly um, and I'm best, I'm realising I am best when I'm working quickly and I'm working kind of intuitively, yes. not thinking too much. Do you, when you start, do you plan um, the colours do or do you just make them as you go along? I just want to be constantly asking myself, is that what I see? And have a mix of colour according to that. So I have no really idea beforehand. I mean, I start on a, on a the boards or the canvases have got a ground on them, which is kind of mid-tone, a sort of greyish, umberish colour. And, and I do tend to use that quite a lot, you know, so um, as, as kind of reference. So working on that mid-tone very quickly, you can I put the light on the dark one, you've already got things going on there very quickly. Um, so I'm constantly changing things, you know, hopefully. So, 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 yeah. And that is the beauty of it. Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, one thing, one, one thing I would say is it's crucially important is in this sort of painting is you've got to be constantly questioning yourself, am I looking? Yes. Am I really looking? Or am I am I just doing it, knowing what works? So we can all we can all work out something and go, oh I know, I know how to make uh, make a reflection, make something look shiny even like but actually it's all about noticing that the sergeant quote, I think it's sergeant always gets wrong, but he's he or somebody at one point Cassic Pete. So just show you notice, and that's what it's all about, about noticing things, about noticing, looking and looking and looking and noticing droplets, and noticing how, for instance, how rain, a raindrop, the ripple a raindrop makes on the pavement, the difference between that raindrop and the difference of ripple, the raindrop falling on a canal, very differently. The, the way the ripples go is very different to the depth of the water. Now we don't know that, we know that by science, it's different. But actually, you know it while looking. So, and and, and 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 that's that's what that's when you start making you know really getting to a different level. It's that looking and looking and looking, and not just going, oh right, there's the horizon, you know, there's the fields, there's the, I've assembled it all, you know, that's a picture. It's, you want to go a bit further, and, and even if the painting's a disaster, but you've noticed something, you've, you've got something, you know, even it's the top of a of a. Of a of a bollard, you know, and you've got the shine just all of something. Or well, cars are brilliant because it, you, because cars are highly reflective surfaces with no corners anymore. They're not boxes. You can't you can't even work with perspective. You've just got to look at what's it look like. What colour is the side of that? And it's very often it's reflecting the tarmac below it. So, you know, and so what is it? Uh, you know, how, what does that car look like? You know, cars are great because they're just nightmare. I had a teacher once who told me look for the fourth dimension. Yeah. So you, you're always pushing that. They're noticing your paintings, you always, I mean even if it's just the, the boot of somebody, a, a girl walking down the street and her boots a little bit like, mm. I, I notice you catch that characteristic. It's so funny, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm, that's an interesting thing because I'm just starting now to really try and get people's feet right now when they walk, it's, you can because you can duck it a bit, you know, you can, and um, that's just staring, just watching someone walking away and staring and just seeing how the foot goes, you know, when, you know, that very often it, it works out a lot more than you think, you know, when they're walking away you think it's too straight, but it actually does, 
and then that's when a foot lifts off the pavement. What does that look like? You know, where's the light and dark? And, and it's, it's, it's very hard, obviously. It's another one of those nightmares. Some walking is a nightmare, especially when you're walking across a canvas. You know, across you, it's very hard. But, but that's, you know, God, if we can crack that, wouldn't that be great? You know, and, and it's not about getting the camera and getting the camera to do the work with you. It's trying to work out for yourself, trying to work out trying to capture that moment but at the same time how are you seeing it and trying to capture that movement and, you know you can go on forever and ever I can go on forever and ever so um, it's, it's a, yeah but it's a great joy just observing life that's why I say kind of painting is just a wonderful thing and it's a very relevant thing to today as well you know we're seeing this after this sort of painting is seen basically is irrelevant and old-fashioned and impressionist there's an argument for that because it's a certain language but it's very relevant in that it's we're out there painting life today and, and we are we're not on our ivory towers we're not in our studios you know dreaming up wonderful new you know we're just recording life and engaging with the public as it is and, and that's a wonderful place to be you know uh, as a painter